Welcome to the Insimu Virtual Patient App. We'd like to show you all the unique features and game modes so you can get the most out of your app. This is our main menu. Let's start our tour. By tapping the gear icon on the top right, we can get to the settings menu. Here you can edit your profile by adding your name, university, and so on. You can also switch between metric and imperial units. If you are facing any technical issues, you can contact our support staff right here. In the settings menu, we also have a feedback survey. If you have any suggestions, let us know here. Lastly, here is where you can use challenge codes you might receive from your professor. If we go back and tap the trophy icon at the bottom, we can see all of our available challenges. Keep in mind that if you complete a challenge given by your professor, they will see the results. Going back to our main menu, we can go over the game's five different modes. In each of them, the red dice at the bottom gives you a case completely at random. However, if you prefer, you can choose a patient in line with a certain specialization, or based on the patient's symptoms. In order to unlock all of the additional modes, you have to solve three cases in Classic mode. In Visual Diagnosis, you can only take the patient's history and perform physical examinations. Everything else is off the table. The next one is Make an Impression, in which imaging tests, biopsies, and other similar tests do not come with the performing doctor's impression and opinion of the case. Next up is the Limited Resources mode, in which every test costs twice as much and takes twice as long to complete. Lastly, there's the Arcade mode, which gives you three minutes to solve a case. The clock is ticking, so don't forget to order multiple tests at once. Now let's try to solve a case in Classic mode. On this screen, you can see the complaints the patient presents with, in this case, abdominal pain. Let's start practicing. If you tap on the plus sign, you can order tests or submit your diagnosis. We do not recommend submitting a diagnosis at this stage because we barely have any information to rely on. You can request diagnostic tests in the order of your choosing, but we suggest starting with taking the patient's history doing physical examinations you deem important, and then ordering lab and imaging tests. If we go into one of the folders, we can see how much each test costs and how long it takes to complete them. These estimates are based on the American Medicare standards. It is important to consider these factors during the diagnostic process. In the game, your final score will be dependent on the amount of time and money spent. Let's start with taking the history. Tapping on any of the tests reveals a short description. The magnifying glass on the top allows you to search for a test by name. The icon right next to it is the order sheet. By tapping it, you can order multiple tests at once, allowing you to save time. This feature is especially important for lab tests, which can run simultaneously. Let's order some tests now. Here we can see that the respiratory history, cardiovascular history, and urinary history tests are unremarkable. But the other two tests might have some information that could be interesting for us. Tap on each of them for more information. After this, you can continue the game by ordering other tests based on these results and eventually arriving at a diagnosis. If you need some help solving the case, tap on the three dots on the top right corner. For example, if we enable this feature, we can see if the tests we ordered are on the diagnostic pathway or not. In this instance, the gastrointestinal history is in fact on the diagnostic pathway. When you feel like you have enough information, you can select the diagnosis you think is correct from this list. You can search for any disease by their ICD code, or by their name. If you search by name, you can use abbreviations in any order like so.
If you're still unsure as to what the correct diagnosis is, you can refer the patient to a different department by tapping on the flag like so. Now let's just select a diagnosis at random to see what happens. It will probably be incorrect. After choosing a diagnosis, you'll see a screen that tells you whether or not you were correct. You can also see which tests you ordered and which ones you missed. The missed tests are ones that you should have ordered to arrive at the correct diagnosis. On this screen, you can see how much experience you gained with this case. The last two things we want to show you are the Profile and Reports menu. In the Profile menu, you can see your total experience, your achievements, you can review all the patients you have diagnosed in the past, and you can also see a leaderboard with monthly and weekly results from all over the world. In the Reports menu, you can look into and analyze your past performance. Hope you found this tutorial useful and will enjoy diagnosing with INSIMU.